So let's take a look at our contracts before we decide how to deploy the science. Um, I was hoping for something jewel, but we don't have anything jewel. I don't know. Rescue Kenry from orbit of Minmus sounds. Oh, here you. Here we go. Bop. What do you guys think? I think Explore Bop is a good one. We just have to do a probe over there. Uh, okay, yep. I think Bop is the one I want to do. Aha, yes. Okay, so let's time warp to the right. <laughs> oh, this is real. This is real classic rock style achievement music here. The missions where you have to re rescue a Kerbal and their vessel. That's an interesting one. That sounds like the claw to me. Jewel is not the hardest thing to hit, of course. I think that's about right. Oh, uh, let's go to the next morning. And then let's look at our research center to see if we can unlock some more technology. Go for the protractor on the screen method. Yes. Well, because I'm not using any mods, so what else am I going to do? Eyeball it? That doesn't work for me. I make mistakes like that. Just uploading and uploading is somewhat of a schedule and having fun while doing it. That's what counts. Yeah, that's what I was doing originally. I just uh, went, well, heck, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to play KSP and just decided to take credit for my accomplishments by making videos even if nobody watches watched them. And that's how it was. Better strut placement. Ah, mirroring fuel lines. Right, yes, very important. Okay, so let's let's just uh, finish this tier off. And then... Let's look for some science. Okay, well, we have just enough science to unlock the se seismic accelerometer. And we have to land on Bob. So we might as well go for that unless there's something else really important. Ah, fuel cell. Ah, because Bob is really far away from the sun. I don't know, guys. Have you guys been around Jewel House? The solar input on solar panels. I know Elu is a little bit tough on the solar panels. Oh, we could unlock the claw. That's dangerous stuff. Small engine is still a thing. Okay, well, I guess I'll unlock the science safest thing. And, of course, research that. Is there any reason to use these better, uh, bigger antennas? I don't know that either. Okay, let's try and build a dual probe. Let's see, um... Well, Ike Lander probe sounds like a good start for a bop probe. Let's stump all this. I think it's time to go liquid fuel boosters. Okay, we've got a seismometer. Guess that's it. I'm not gonna carry a science junior all the way this time. Kerbal engineer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, stock, right, stock. Okay, so 1.7 divided by 0.7 sounds like the plan. We don't have to bring it back or anything. Nope. Okay. Um, that's bigger than I wanted to be, it to be. No, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Um, well, I guess I'll just have to accept that. All right. So, this we see is 1.7 tons. I know that this fuel tank has one ton exactly from here. And so I do 1.7 divided by 0.7, which is the dry mass. So if there's one ton of fuel, the empty mass is 0.7. So full mass divided by empty mass. Take the LN of that. Okay, so the LN of the full mass divided by the empty mass is 0.887. And then we multiply by the ISP, which in this case is 300 in vacuum, and that's what I'm going to go by, and then times 9.81. And so this has 2,611 delta V. You doubt batteries will survive a dual aerobrake. How about the goo containers? Um, let's see. Let's put an inline battery then. It's a good point.
let's dump these batteries entirely. Okay, so. And then the ISP of our base stage. We're pretty good right now, though. I can't imagine that if I slap some boosters on here, we're not going to be okay for Jewel. It's going to have a lot of TWR. We'll just keep using the swivels. Okay, let's get this all connected up in good asparagus fashion. We've got uh, gambling engines all around, so hopefully we'll have the control. All right. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have the greatest ISP at sea level, these TLVT45s, but let's just check it out. 2081, the center stack then was 2107, then we have another 1000 or so, 1800 here, and then 2000 there. I think that's enough. Uh, you should make the outside engines LVT45s and outside engines LVT45s, LVT30s. I hope you mean LVT30s on the outside, otherwise I'll have no control when I, once I drop them. Asparagus 2x2. Two two. It's not a bad idea. Oh, uh, why, two long ta uh, why not two long tanks? Uh, because of the way this attaches. I want to attach it at the center. Yeah, uh, because you can't attach the decoupler at the joint between the two tanks. Right. Okay, so that looks like it's connected properly, though that's a little bit too high. Okay, this looks fine. How did I select the whole booster? From the root part. The root part in this case being the decoupler. Throw some SRBs. You really want the SRBs. Come on, we just did asparagus staging. And we're going to call this uh, BOP. BOP lander probe. Right? Right. Any objections to what we've got here? Are we properly prepared for this mission? Oh, and another thing, you can select the whole thing by uh, holding down shift and clicking it. That's another thing. Oh, how to copy them, that's alt. So hold down alt or whatever the equivalent is and then pull it off. Check my staging. Ashton group the solar panels and maybe the science. Well, I was thinking about that. Um, we can action group the solar panels to the lights. I like that idea. The science, we've got so much science I don't want to bother. Actually, we should s slap some lights on. Lights are big and there's no particularly good place to put them. That sucks. Could do with something to smooth this out a little bit. Don't generally like the way that looks. <laughs> Let the light shine on the solar panels equals infinite energy. Yeah, if only that would work. Hi Hal. 9003. <laughs> An upgraded version. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's launch. And let's face it, we've got 2 million funds and this costs 40,000. So if we mess up, eh, it's not too bad. We're, we're, on the, we're on the rosy path here as far as funding is concerned. Primrose path, that's what I wanted to get. Okay, throttle up SAS is on. This has plenty of thrust. Let's go. Throttle back just a tad. With all this thrust, we should probably start the pitch maneuver pretty quickly. You don't like that rockets are so cheap. Uh, well, we had plenty of problems early on with the rockets not being cheap. So I, I consider this the well-earned rewards of a hard slog early on. 
Okay. All right, booster sap. Let's make sure we still have control. This is not the best configuration, but I don't dare roll. I would like to flatten this out instead of having them in line like this. Should have planned that better in the VAB. Okay, I think things are stable. Well, let me uh, rotate a bit, and then I'll declare things stable enough to look at chat. Uh, come on. Let me thrall down a bit. Okay. A little bit dark. Okay, booster set. Very good. Orbit is good. All is proceeding well. Alright, so what have we said here? From the last time, two episodes ago, only one sole panel extended because of the reattachment. Yes, I remember. That is why I checked that. Have you landed a nine-man outpost anywhere? Not in this. I've I've done those in other series on YouTube. Uh, more than nine. I've done uh, some... Oh, was it uh, the Moon Master in my colonization series was one of those? Uh, no, actually, it was the Gold Bug that was. Anyway, um, but not in this series, not in this uh, live streaming. Uh, Two million enough for a lava station, yeah. And I've unlocked docking ports. I don't know actually. I haven't checked. Oh, I should unlock the docking ports to see the station contracts. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay, well, well, we'll aim for that as soon as possible. So you can stations as the cool shuttle done any missions as a, for the Sandbox EDB series. Uh, that's the next uh, mission. So in the most recent video, I sent the trucks to the moon to get some resource mining done. And then we have to continue building up the station in the Sandbox EDB series. So there'll be another shuttle launch for that. Uh, will I do any colonization this time in this playthrough? Uh, if you mean general colonization here, uh, yeah, but if, uh, this is a stock series, so we're not going to be using the MKS OKS in this bunch. Though, uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, the colonization series, uh, I might think about upgrading to 1.0, not upgrading that series, but doing a 1.0 version of it. That's a separate thing entirely. This thing doesn't like to turn right now. Let my stock stuff to be, be uh, better. Well, I always do it. More accessible. Yeah, I agree. Because, you know, uh, in general, more people are going to be playing the unmodded version of the game than the modded version. Okay, we are in orbit. Let's get a transfer to Jewel lined up. Well, we've, we've got a moon encounter. We have a moon encounter. If I could count on the moon to boost me in the correct way, I, I wouldn't mind so much, but I know I don't. Well, let's see. Um, we need at least 2,000 meters per second. So maybe we, we can miss it. Let's see. Okay, I think we can miss it. All right, all right, all right. No problems. Well, that was a bit off, huh? I bet you it's going to give me this by the time I finish burning instead of that nice encounter. Well, the sending note is right here. I guess we'll do a correction out here once we get out there. That shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Houston, we have a moon encounter. Well, we avoided that. Um, next mission, blow up that moon. It's in the way so often. <laughs> Johnston, Johnson has killed her tours. Well, I haven't been to anything yet, honestly. I'm not much of a traveler. Part of the reason I make so many videos. <laughs> I don't get out much. So, so yeah. Got a lot of places to go to. Air and Space Museum would be high on my list. Obviously, Kennedy itself. 
we've got a lot more delta v than we need so we could do we could do more than we were planning on we'll see uh, of course the the probe only has a limited amount of experiments oh why are you doing this to me we got them <sighs> You told me there wasn't going to be a moon encounter. Hold on, I think maybe... No, it's just getting closer. Okay, let's turn on the lights to extend the solar panels. We don't actually have lights. Uh, I don't know if the solar panels actually worked. Well, we've got a solar panel here. But I think you were right, it only extended one. Okay, well, we have to get past the moon here. The moon is just trying to be friendly. That's a weird way of showing it. If I had uh, more patch conics levels, um, you know, uh, if I had edited the settings to show more patch conics, then it'd be fine. But it's the whole part where I can't see where I'm going. It's sort of dangerous. Okay, well, we ended up with uh, not quite what I wanted. Let me just see if some prograde burn will help this. Nope, doesn't help at all. Let me see if a retrograde burn will help. Oh, we can fix that like that. That'll do fine. Uh, we can probably get in closer, but I don't need to tweak the maneuver node for that. Okay. Atmospheric height change on Joule. Yeah, yeah, it's 200 kilometers. Uh, I think with this probe we might have enough to just well, I, I wouldn't want to take that. Uh, anyway, we tested 190 kilometers, and so that's what I'm going to go with. I just remember these numbers in my head, so I just say 190 kilometers, go with that. For doing an air break at 24 kilometers, go with that. With Kerbin, it seems to be a little bit trickier, actually, than anywhere else. Oh, darn, passed it. Okay. Inclination is a bit wild. That makes it worse. Okay, that also makes it worse. Okay, we've got chick knock approach. Oh, music! Where's music? <gasps> oh, 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 what? Oh, uh, I know what that is. Okay, hold on. When I click away from Kerbal Space Program, it decides to do that spinny thing. Is the probe uh, in a sun escape trajectory after dual slingshot? Not quite. It's still it's still bound by the sun. I really hate it when the electric charge fluctuates and I worry about that. Let's just check that everything is all right here. Um, not the best orientation. I guess we'll we'll go with a good orientation instead of this. Actually, let's try a goo container here. Have we done this? Uh, it's probably better just to do Jules Moons and Jewel. Okay, continuing. Okay, so this is the longer part of the trajectory, of course. Patiently waiting for, for our encounter with Jewel. Seems like, uh, oh, uh, am I a YouTuber or a streamer full-time? No, not at this point. I'd like to make videos full-time. Streamer, uh, I don't consider, like, a full-time job sort of thing. This is just for fun. But videos, I can see producing videos, that'd be interesting. I'm a substitute teacher. So I have a lot of free time because, especially during the summer. So that's why I have a lot of time. How good of a physics teacher are you? Not that great. I'm a I'm a historian by by training. But I know physics. I mean, I've been in physics classrooms, so I've done that. I've I've been in all classrooms. Very strange classes sometimes. What am I not good at? I'm not good at circuits. So don't ask me about circuits. Um as far as Gravitation, high school level, I'm probably okay. Uh, 
How is that? Okay, why don't we target Bop? Bop has got this inclination thing going. So, 189.9 kilometers is what we're trying out here for an air brake at Jewel. This could go very badly. Okay, we need more dramatic music too. Reaction wheel control system on a small satellite. Oh, excellent. Saw a video uh, about a reaction wheel system. Somebody posted it on a stream, I think yesterday. That was nifty. Got your 17 man station into orbit now to refuel and transit. Good work. 17 man is a decently sized one. Our solar... our electric charge is not great. I don't think we packed enough solar power on this. Oh, uh, we should do some science. Guys, you're supposed to remind me to do science, right? Oh, but how am I going to transmit it with uh, solar electric charge? Hold on. Let's re-extend the solar panels to get some electric charge in and maybe we can send some stuff. How much, does, how much does transmission cost in stock? Let's find out. Observe Mystery Goo. Transmit Mystery Goo data while in space near Jewel. Well, that, that wasn't much. Let us try barometer. Transmit, baro transmit barometer scan. Okay. Well, let's recharge a little bit more and then we'll retract the solar panels as close to Jules atmosphere as we dare. Less science than, I, than you thought I'd get back from Jules. Well, uh, well, of course we're not bringing it back and we've got all the other stuff to do. Yep, high velocity. Well, we are currently under acceleration according to it, though I don't know how. We are going up. We're not. We don't have drag. Okay, just barely even on electric charge here. So really, distance from the sun, pretty serious stuff in terms of recharging. Uh oh. Uh, let's make sure that Jewel doesn't bring us in too low here. Hold on. Okay, so we've got some overheating in parts, especially the goo containers. It looks like. Let's see, observe mystery goo. Uh, Jules up more atmosphere. I think we can transmit with our current battery power. Okay, I think I've got something going here. It's past. Sorry, trying to figure this out here. Hold on. There we go. Bop periapsis. Okay. Um, this isn't going to work very well for me, is it? Really? 2,200 and... That's a lot of Delta V. Okay, we're going to slingshot around some, uh, some, some moons. This is not... Right. Can't do it that way. Forget that. We are going to aim for Val. I saw a Leif encounter, but... Okay, we, we, we can get a Leif encounter. Fair enough. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Three hundred and eighty or so, that I can deal with. I'll take this. Slingshot activated. Yes, we are slingshotting around Lathe. Okay, do this part slow. You're not understanding gravity assist well. Please explain. Okay, so 
we just fill around with the nodes, yes. <laughs> Explaining gravity assists. Uh, we just fill around with the nodes. Actually, let's focus view on lathe. Ah, good thing I did, because uh, you can't just fiddle around with nodes and expect it all to work out. So we've got Crash Course at Lathe. Good thing I checked. Thank you for reminding me somewhat, Grizzbiz. Okay, that's not going to work out. So, this way. Haha. <laughs> Okay, that leads us in escape trajectory, but oh no, that's a Val Encounter. Okay, we'll do that. We're going for a Val Encounter after the Leif Encounter. That sounds good to me. Still under acceleration, my word. When, when are we not under acceleration when we're close to Jewel? This is crazy. Maybe Jewel reflects more light than the sun now. Uh, not on this side. Still seems to think that the solar panels are blocked in this direction. Jewel is just bigger than it's supposed to be. Something about Jewel is telling it that it's like a thousand kilometers. Oh, just missed the Val encounter. Are you sure about the 50k? Because I think we should adjust after Leif on the 50k. Otherwise, we might be cutting it too close. Uh, yeah. I don't want to adjust uh, closer to Leif right now. We'll just leave it as it is and then we'll do a subsequent maneuver. Okay, we've got charge back. Okay, let me see about chat. Alright. Uh, we we'll have to get close. The results depend on whether you're coming from behind or in front. Yes. Uh, hopefully that was obvious from what we were doing. It should tell me. Yeah. Uh, we've got focus on lathe. 50 kilometers. Okay. Correct. No RTGs. No, uh, we have not unlocked RTGs. I don't want to do a goo container, but we can do the the thermometer and barometer. Okay, uh, wow, that's a lot. High over Jewel, measuring the temperature of space appears to be quite, oh, that, that one again. Okay, so now let's adjust our orbit so that we can hit Val. And that's all we need to do. I don't know how Val will affect our orbit after that, though. That's the tricky part. I need it to slingshot me out to to a further location. Okay, 51 kilometers above Lathe. Maybe that's a little bit too close of a margin. 52 makes me feel a little bit happier. Okay, well that's Tylo, I think. And there's Lathe. So here we are. One more goo container. I don't know. I think maybe we'll wait until we're low over lathe. I think that'll be worth more. Let me do the barometer. Instruments read zero. Yes. Transmit. Okay. Anyone see the paddleboard test point of view video? Yes. I liked that video too. <laughs> I, I need to like more videos. There are a lot of good videos that ought to be liked. Barometer science a bit silly? Uh, no, I had insisted that they should do that, uh, me and many others, because you don't know whether it's really a vacuum or not. How do you know? You're sort of assuming that, but there could be some sort of medium in the dual system. How do you know it's not? there's not something floating around? You need to actually measure it. No, I mean, science isn't done. You don't go into a scientific experiment saying, well, I already know what's going to happen, so we don't have to do it. No, no, that's not right. You just send a probe all the way out to another planet. Don't, don't make assumptions. Don't make assumptions. We'll have to keep a goo container for the surface of Bob. 
I'll do one here, but we want to keep one goo for the surface. That's gonna be worth a lot more. Or did I just use all my goo containers? No, this one is still available. Okay. Now I wish I had put some lights on, but uh, that's the seismometer. That's the thermometer. Okay, transmit the temperature scan. And barometer. Yes, it's as if we were in a vacuum. Okay, well that's not bad. A little bit far. Oh, not a 43 day maneuver, come on. Uh, it's not letting me click the proper orbit, so I'm just gonna have to... Well, do what I normally do. Do test burns. Uh, booster and parachutes on the same stage in your first five launches. I, well, I, I do that. I, I've done that sometimes too. Uh, and I mean recently. Just uh, Normally when I'm recording I pay a little bit more attention to that stuff so that I don't uh, mess up. But uh, when I'm doing trying stuff out on my own, then, uh, then it's uh, more likely to happen that I have the parachutes on the same stage as my boosters. Yeah, that happens. Well, let's do some Val signs. Can't do a goo experiment. I want to save those. That's the only one left I have. But we can transmit a temperature scan. High over Val. Wait. Where did my... Guys? Where did my lander legs go? Did I not have lander legs on this one? I might not have lander legs on this one. I thought I had lander legs. This was a Ike lander mission. Did did my lander legs burn up in Jewel? I didn't hear any explosion. Or did I not have them to begin with? Did I take them off in the VAB? I'm confused. Uh, we're not gonna get low over Val. I'm just gonna proceed. Anyway, we can land on the engine, it's fine. Likely in dual re-entry? Okay. Well, that's something to note for the future, folks. If you're going to try to do dual air braking... Yeah, air braking. Oh, it should be shown in F3, yeah. That's a good point. Uh... Micro landing strut exploded due to overheating. It only shows one, but it does show it going. And that that would have been oh, where would that have been? Three fifty seven. And which photovoltaic panel exploded? I'm confused. Are we missing a panel? Panel. Oh yeah, we're missing a panel. But that was four hours in. Happened when you were in timeout. Uh, yeah, well, I'll have to check the video on that. Okay, we're in uh, we're in uh, dual orbit, and now we don't have to burn so much to get our encounter with with Bob. But it's not showing me how close I am. Okay, there we go. Oh! There's a Tylo Perry app. Okay, fine. Uh, actually, wait a minute. There's no Tylo Perry apsis when I... Wait a minute. I have to do a zero meter per second burn in order to get a Tylo Perry apsis? Oh, it's because of the slingshot from... No, it... Yeah, we're getting a slingshot from Jewel here. Or is it... Is it Lathe? No, can't be lace. Must be jewel. Okay. I have to figure out how to get Tylo to help me out here. Okay, well this is taking too much time. Let's just go for the Tylo encounter and see what happens after. I'll, I'll be content with that. We're getting plenty of... Oh, crud. We're out of electric charge. Um, 
we're well away from Jewel. It thinks that it's blocked. Uh, well, we'll have to, well, uh, somewhere around here we'll get electric charge. I insist. We're entering the Tylo system. What's our orientation? There's Tylo. Sun is on our tail. Well, this is annoying. Maybe in this game they should figure out how to... Well, okay. Blocked by fuel tank. Why like this one? Yeah. I don't like that. Well, we're not gonna get any science from Tylo in this case. Well. Lock the charge in the probe, then you can unlock. Yeah, yeah. Everybody suggests that. Well, if this... I, I consider this a bug. And maybe I should let, lock the charge in the probe next time for that. Half a Julian year, yeah. Just thinking that. But, you know what else? Uh, we're likely to be slung off into some sort of interplanetary trajectory eventually. Let's see. Oh darn, we got caught. Oh no. Uh, it's it's wherever they detect where where they're being blocked. I guess that's closer to, to the base of the part instead of further out. Yeah, the sun is hitting most of the panels. Well, not now. Now they're at a bad angle, but before they were. It was good before. Uh, but we're in trouble. Um, I think. No, I've got, I've got the I've got one piece for morning. Alas, our probe, I think, is about to meet its demise. Our first attempt at a dual mission, we got much science, but ultimately we failed in the contract. And unless there's a last minute burst of, of electric charge, this is going to meet its fiery death. Let's take it from the outside view. Can't retract the solar panels. That betrayed us. Oh, fine. Go on the dark side of the planet. So we uh, here. Let's uh, temperature overlay. Oh, wow. That's quick. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> and still much has managed to survive. You know, if we didn't lose that other solar panel earlier, maybe it would have worked out, but I don't know. Okay, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? <laughs> uh, but I, I don't wanna. I, I, we, we, we have to fulfill this. We have to continue to the surface, but it's gonna take a while. It was going so well until it exploded. Well, actually, it was going so well until it lost electric charge. Didn't really, wasn't really going so well after that. Oh well, I guess it's, well. It's been three hours, I guess it's a fair time to wrap it up. I was hoping to wrap it up on Bob, but... Can escape to Space Center and Time Warp to see what will happen? You know, that, 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 that that's a curious thing. Yeah, quote-unquote. No, um, I, I'd have to abandon the mission here. So it'll, it'll automatically be lost. And that's the end of that. 
Okay, well, that was almost three years down the drain. Back to Space Center. All right, well, I think that does it for me, folks. Uh, we will talk about what to do next. Obviously, we still need to do the Bob mission, but maybe we can do it a different way uh, such that we won't have the electric charge problems that we had in this mission. And so I'll have to look into creating a new probe that will be able to withstand that. And so we can, and perhaps we can make a larger probe that carries Science Junior and more, more, uh, more experiments. All right. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this stream. If you aren't following already, please make sure to follow. And I'll see you tomorrow.